So, one of you guys said I could show you guys my makeup. It's pretty much the same as the last one, but I changed the products. So, I do the same thing on my face, but I use something else. It kind of makes me a little uncomfortable being in a doorway that behind me it's, it's dark. It's kind of scary, but... The door is closed. There's literally no reason for anything weird to happen. I look so tired. Um, I did have makeup earlier, but it wore away. So as you can see, there's like a little bit right here. My face is still breaking out, guys, because I have to wear a mask at work. You guys are in the sink right now because I didn't know where else to put you. So anyways, I got my makeup in here, and I'm going to I'm gonna do it. Basically, I... I use eyeliner, liquid eyeliner, waterproof, and I'll show you what kind. And then I use a lip, a lipstick, I think. Well, it's not a lipstick. Jeez, I don't know. Um, what is it? It's waterproof lipstick, lip gloss. Okay, lip gloss, eyeliner, and eyeshadow. No, not eyeshadow. What's it called? Eyebrow, eyebrow shadow. No, no, no. Eyebrow, I don't know what it's called. But basically, the powder for your eyebrows, because, you know, mine are very thin. And then, um, those three. And then sometimes I'll wear mascara. And that's pretty much it. I can't think of what else I do. I will link everything, the exact stuff, if I find it. I'll link it in the description because I'm really bad at that and I need to get better at it. Um, so this makeup that I do is for people that, I, I, I change the products, I do the same thing. So basically with, um, I can find it, it's right here. So this is the liquid liner I use, and you're supposed to do this, so it would focus. Um, I changed the one I used to use, so basically what, whenever I use an eyeliner, I like to, you see how that wore, this one wore out, but I make a point. Because my eyes are far apart and I want them a little closer. I don't do the wing liner because I just, I'm not very good at makeup. And I don't really like how I look in the wing liner. A lot of people, most people look really good with it. I just don't like how I look with it. So I do this, like I spike it right here. I do that all the time. And then my eyebrows, I make them thicker. And I, I know I'm known for, like, my mom and my sister have made fun of me. Not in a bad way, but, like, they think it's funny that I, my, I, my eyebrows, I make them really dark. But I'd rather have them a little too dark than really thin. And then my lipstick or whatever is, I normally try to basically make my lips a little the same, like, stand out more because they're very pale. And they tend to look thinner when they're all, like, lighter. So I darken them a little bit. So, yeah, that's what I do. So the main problem why I switched the products I used to use for my makeup was because they didn't last very long, especially with my eyes. And I'm a very anxious person. I've, I think I've come to realize that that's the one thing that's always stayed with me. I didn't have an ed, you know, uh, as a child. I didn't have that problem with food. It was always anxiety. And recently this week, being into, you know, um, orientation, like I posted on, on my Instagram, I've had, I've started, I had panic attack over panic attack because of the situation I keep putting myself in. And I came, I, when I was telling my mom about it, she told me that I've always was that person that was very worried, always freaking out, you know, spazzing. And she said that it's, she thought I knew that I always was a very anxious person. And that made me, like, that made so much sense to me. That made me realize, damn, like back when I was a, in elementary, I did have panic attacks too. Like it was always there. It sucks because it has stopped me from living life. Okay, I'm supposed to be doing my makeup, I'm sorry. But yeah, okay, I'll do my makeup while I talk to you guys about this because I, I think all of us can share this, the same thing because anxiety kind of goes with a lot of other, you know, issues that we, we all seem to, you know, share. Okay, so I, 
I'm really trashy when I do stuff. I always find a way to f do things um, the wrong way, basically. But it works better than if I did it the right way. So I grab a very old dried out uh, eyeliner that has a, a, a sharp-ish point. If it, Do you see that? It's dried out. So I grab this, right? And this one that I, I use right now, the tip of it is very flimsy. So I can't get a point um, at the edges. So I use this and I put it, put that one on here and then I, and I burp. Okay. And I start pointing it and then I make my eye like closer. Um, by the way, I do not know what I'm doing ever, so feel free to tell me that I need to stop. No, I'm just kidding. Um, don't take my shit seriously, like my advice on makeup, because this, I don't know. But if it helps one of you, why not, you know? So that's what I do, mainly. The thing about this stuff is like it dries out really fast so you gotta do it pretty quick. Okay, and then, so so the reason I do this one, it's really strong. So I, I'm either, um, I need to wake up early and I'm not a morning person so I'm gonna do my makeup. I know it sounds really gross, it is. I do my makeup before I go to bed and then I just wake up and don't really have to do it. That's what I use. And then the second reason I use that is if I'm going to a water park, I'll apply it and then go straight to the place, you know, um, because it stays and it does not smear. And then the second reason, which I found out recently, is if you apply it and you go to a place and you cry, it will not smear. It will stay. It will wear out a little bit, um, especially if you apply very little. So it will wear out, but if you do it like very thick it, and you cry, it will, um, it will stay. Um, and it will also, since, you know, like I do it really thick because when your eyes turn red, like mine are a little red right now because I've been freaking out all week, it will cover up the red and the swollen is. So I don't know if you guys have this too, but like I can't get away with crying because my eyes totally snitch on me because they swell up the second i'm done the second i one or two tears escape my eyes um snitch on me to everybody like this this brat has been crying okay and then i go like this and i'm grabbing my um hair and i'm trying not to let it poke my eye and then i go like that that's not a wing liner it's more of a i don't know where else to put the last piece i remember i did that i went like this i smear it upward and my mom thought i tried to do a wing liner and she's like that's actually good and i was like oh shit because i don't know like i i do like like i appreciate um wing liners but i don't want to attempt them i don't like personally yeah i don't like how i look with them but um, it's also because I don't really know how to do it and I feel ridiculous. So I just smear it upward like that. You see that? That's what I do every time, I promise. I smear it. <laughs> so, like, a lot of the times people think I know how to do makeup. I don't. I just pretend I do. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I swear, I do my makeup by people that know how to do makeup and they're cringing. I'm like, dude, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. Ew, look, I'm breaking out right there. Down here. We have to wear a mask all the time now. Oh, yeah, so I was telling you guys about... Oh, yeah. Um, if you're going swimming or if you're sleeping with your makeup, um, try not to do it every time. But if you are, um, I use this to fill in my eyebrows. Because if you're going to sleep, you're going to be, you know, rubbing it off. By the time you wake up, it will not be as strong. Calcado. I don't know how to say that in in English but it won't be as strong oh my gosh guys I smeared it do you guys see that and it kind of looks like a dog or a cat okay so um I do this but I have to try to be light it's like impossible so I try to dry 
dry. I try to draw my hair right here, make it thicker. When I was younger, I overplugged my eyebrows, and they've never recovered ever since. Um. Okay. So I keep going. Oh. Oh no, I messed it up. Okay. There you go. Is that okay? Yeah. It's okay. Um. So yeah, this is basically what I do. I don't know how to do eyeshadow or um contouring. I don't do condition conditioner. Yeah, I don't do conditioner in my makeup. No, I don't do um concealer, foundation, nothing. Because I can't my eye my eyebrows what am I talking about? My freaking my acne my my skin's too bad already. I don't want to like I know my skin's a spaz, so I can't get away with you know wearing that stuff and either way back when i was in high school i had acne too but it wasn't because of a mask it was because i didn't know anything about you know um skincare yet so i mean i knew a very little bit but it, the little i knew like wasn't working for me so i started i got foundation and i thought it was my color it was not my color and I wore it and then I recent like a few years ago after high school I saw a picture of me wearing you know foundation I looked orange it was so embarrassing like my it did not match my 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 neck it was so ugly I don't know why I didn't notice it like back in the day pictures always have a way to like show you the worst like possible way it's just a lot of my insecurities come from pictures and that's why i would avoid pictures so much you know like i would always like dodge them and go like this cameras really find a way to make me look really bad like it, it was it sucked but yeah i don't wear con a conditioner why do i keep trying to call it conditioner concealer or um foundation the reason is because even when i went to get my skin matched i'm mexican-american so basically my undertone um is like my my undertone for my skin is yellow and pale the average caucasian american is pale pink if that makes sense so no matter what i'd get it'd look off because um they don't really make pale for um yellow undertones wow it sounds like i know what i'm talking about but that's basically what they told me in sephora so that was fun and then i bu ended up still buying the like they they still sold me the the one that didn't match which was bullshit because it was like 40 bucks um i guess you know you have to pick what you prefer to uh stand out whether it will be your acne or you'll look like a giant orange or you know like a weird orange thing but yeah um ever since that i don't i also like i got really into skincare and I started to realize every time you wear foundation, it gets into your pores. And oh my god, it started to gross me out. Plus, I stopped wearing foundation for a while and concealer. And when I did try it again, I just felt gross. Like, it just felt too slimy. And where I work, it's very... There was no AC. I have not worked in a building with AC in almost six years. Like, it's always been a place where it does not have AC. So yeah, it gets really hot and my when i tried it you know going to a place to work with no ac my foundation would be literally melting down i'm like what's the point you know so that's why i don't do it but um also you know lack of freaking skills and talent and patience so there's that so i just focus on kind of trying to make my eyebrows a little bit bushier my eye my eyes closer and my lips brighter that way maybe i'll distract people away from my um my acne from the masks and i don't know what else because i don't know i can't believe it's just you know the masks really affect me that bad okay so when i'm done with my eyebrows and my eyeliner i do my lips and i i bought a um not this one that one's for my eyes but i don't really use it about this one for my lips uh you can just use a q-tips what are they called a q-tip you can use a q-tip i don't like to use this thing because it's just too much i need to burp again okay so then i grab some and i start in the inside and i work my way out look at that i sound perpetual perpetual i always ruin it with that word 
I sound professional. Are you guys cringing though? Like, it's okay if you are. You can use your finger, it doesn't matter. But this, this stuff, um, it stains, so it stays pretty long. My eyes look funny. Ew. Okay. And you go in here, and you go like that. And I just keep doing it. So, I do it really strong. If I'm going to sleep like this, I do it really strong. Like, really intense. It will wear it down. Um, or if I'm going to a water park, I also do it really intense. But I do not put mascara. If you're gonna, if you think you're gonna break, have a breakdown and cry, um, or you're going to a water park, do not wear mascara, even if it's, um, waterproof, because I find that it, it's not worth it ending up not working, if that makes sense. I mean, unless you find one that does work, then that's good. But I don't trust any of them, because I wore even a waterproof one, and it just, it just kept, like, melting, leaking, I don't know what it's called. Is that good, guys? Do you approve? So yeah, um, my new, my new job is really, um, freaking me out. I'm very nervous. I hate it. Um, it pays really good, but I don't want to be there. I don't really, I, I might leave any second now, but I just, so basically, I'm very good at leaving when I'm very stressed out. Every panic attack I've ever had, I've used that as a reason to not go back, which I've found out with therapy that it can lead to you, you know, continuously relying on that panic to make your decisions for you. And when you do that, you close, you close your options, you close your own doors. And I, I don't want to live like that. You know, like I really don't. So basically my therapist, when I had told her about my driving, my fear of driving places I don't know because of an accident that really did affect me. She said that I could work on exposure therapy, which is like you slowly try to put yourself in that situation till it becomes, you know, more comfortable because a lot of the time anxiety comes from, you know, fear of something you don't know you know how it's gonna go and or you attach the the worst scenario you attach it to that and if you push yourself and go through it and you and you don't go through that harsh thing your anxiety starts to learn that hey it's not gonna happen every time it was once you know so basically i've been trying to stay with this job even though it's giving me panic attacks and making me very anxious because I, I'm trying to follow that like exposure therapy but it's a lot of work and it's very painful so I don't know it's just very I hate it and I've had three panic attacks for the four days I was there and two of them were on Friday so that's fun and that was the last day of, of, of that week then we would be off and I told myself, come on, you can do it, you can do it. And that was probably the first time in a long time that I've broken down, had a panic attack, and still wiped my tears and went back in. <laughs> to tell you how surprised I am, guys, like, I didn't think I could do that. It did help that I have to wear my mask. Um, because no one could really see. Because, like, this is covered up. And then we have to wear goggles so no one could really see my face and a hat so like i could cover myself so that helped a big um achievement for me uh having to walk in after crying just like like completely you know try to calm down and it's it just really sucks that anxiety is just really annoying like it just it i hate how people you know around me Growing up, my siblings, my family, friends, whoever, have seen me with this anxiety. And at first they feel bad for me, but it gets to the point where it becomes a burden to them. And I feel very sorry and very uh, much at fault for it, basically. But 
it's not something I want to go through, you know what I mean? And it's, it's really hard to try to explain to them, like, I'm not doing this on purpose. I'm not trying to get out of this, get the easy way out. I'm literally trying to deal with it. And that's why it hurts so much, you know? And I just, I, I've disappointed so many people in my life with um, my anxiety. It, and it sucks because it's like, um, I can't help it, you know? So, anyways, I was in... Um, the reason I freaked out is because, so, we are in a classroom, right, and they were telling us all the safety stuff for the whole week. It was so much information, and I was not listening, I did not remember most of it because my anxiety would not let me pay attention. And I was starting to calm down. I was doing breathing exercises, which normally don't work on me, but I really didn't have anything else to do to like try to do i had gone to the bathroom and done jumping jacks because exercise calms me down it kind of gives my heart a reason to beat so fast when i came back i was feeling better but i had calmed myself completely i even on my watch if you look at this i have um my heart you can see my heart rate if i can if it adjusts to it but basically it shows heart rate and um it's 79 right now but there it was i could see it going up or down so i it went to 100 i i started breathing slow and i got it to 95 and i was doing good right and then the guy teaching us started to show us some videos he had to show us so basically what i'm very nervous about is driving a forklift I just, I hate driving, operating, anything. I feel like I'm going to end up hurting somebody or someone's going to get mad at me, like my accident, you know? So, he, that's what was making me really nervous. And he was like, okay, before we practice on the fourth lift, I have to show you guys these videos. And he shows us these videos, and I'm doing okay. I'm finally calm. And in the videos, he shows people dying. Like, and getting, or, like, getting severely hurt, but... It really messed with me. I was trying not to cry. Like, my eyes were filled with water. And nobody seemed to care. Like, and I, by the way, it didn't help that I'm the only girl here. I don't know. It just, it really bothered me. And then on top of that, in the beginning, in a different day, I saw another, they showed us another video. These were not, like, acting videos, you know. This was camera footage from other warehouses. This guy was new and they sent him to clean down this machine. They opened it up and when he was cleaning he came back up and then went back down they forgot he was in there and they shut it and they continued the machine they heard a scream they stopped it the guy had had this machine like part come down because they forgot he was there um and that part was 200 pounds that smashed him and um he died like and before that you know he had taken a picture of being like a selfie in the bathroom with his new uniform because he was happy and he sent that picture like of his first day to his fiance and then a few moments later he's not coming back to her you know like she will never get to marry him and he will never like he will never leave that place and just thinking about it is just like messing with me like i hate being like that you know like i just keep thinking about that like he's never gonna go home oh my gosh why is that affects me so much this is how i was over there like it's just so annoying like why and it's like i could be i could make a mistake and oh my gosh oh, i did not want to cry i don't know like he had a family you know my makeup stain <laughs> we're testing it out um so yeah I just like, I can't believe no one cared it just really affected me just watching that like I will never forget the guy's selfie like it just haunts me and I was thinking like if it's me you know like I get hurt um, my soul's never leaving that place. Like, I'm just stuck in that warehouse and I'm never going anywhere else. 
or like if I hurt somebody, like I could never forgive myself. And I just, I, I'm not smart, you know, like I'm just, I'm not capable of doing things bad that an average person can do. So I feel very scared to hurt somebody by accident. I get that. I get that they showed us that to like show us that this place can lead to serious, you know, dangerous situations and we need to be careful. But they could have told us it instead of showed me because I just feel so bad for that guy. And I was looking around and my eyes were like watery and I just, I knew I couldn't break down because I'm not ashamed to cry, to feel. I'm not ashamed to have emotions. I'm so over that. I used to when I was a child and I don't want to be, I want to be allowed to be humans. But the thing is, it's like, it's just hard when people see it as, oh, you're just a woman. That's why you're crying. That's why you care. It's not me being a woman, it's me being human, you know? Like, I just really think we should make it more normal for people to cry, whether you're a boy or a girl, who cares? If you're human, you should be human. It's like, why are we all so robotic? If that makes sense? <sighs> like, I just feel so bad for that guy, and I just can't seem to forget it. And every time, like, we would go out to try the forklift, I would start panicking because I'm like, what if I'm the reason somebody gets hurt, you know? Like, I just can't. I would never forgive myself. <laughs> I don't know like and my anxiety is so severe that if somebody tells me how to do something I'm too anxious to actually listen if that makes sense like learning how to drive was such a traumatic thing because my family like my parents didn't have the patience so they yelled at me I almost wanted to just drive into a lake because I just I wanted out of there <sighs> So it's really every time I have to drive something new, whether it's anything, if it's up to me to control it, it it brings me back to learning how to drive and all the accidents and all the bullshit. And now also those cam that camera footage they showed us, I hate it. I really do. So like I'm to the point where I might, you know, I might walk out anytime now, even if it pays really well. And it, it, the people are nice. I just don't think I'm, I'm capable of it. And I've tried. I think I've, I've gotten farther than I thought I could being there. But I don't know. Like a part of me is like, oh, dude, anxiety is just the, the unknown, fearing the unknown, and what could happen. But it doesn't necessarily mean it will happen. You know. But I'm just. I don't want to keep, like, I don't want to put myself in a place where I can't take anything back. You know what I mean? Like, I could I could live with regret. Like, oh, I should have stayed there longer. That kind of regret. But I can't live with, I hurt somebody. And I can't, you know, like, undo it. I cannot. Um, they brought, I had a panic attack in um, the office. No, not the office where you eat the break room um nobody saw me and then i had one outside and then afterwards i wet my tears i think a guy in a truck saw me but he was just confused and then i swear it was so bad i could not breathe and after that the guy i kept going like this like massaging because like my palms were itchy and tickly because of my anxiety the guy i think saw me and just sent me to my new area to get familiar with it and i ended up not doing the forklift yet i talked with the guy he left me with was very nice and i told him that i had um extreme anxiety and when they showed me that the guys the people getting into you know basically losing their life i freaked out and he was like oh no you know and he felt for me so he told me that i 
he was gonna take his time teaching me which was very nice so I'm kind of feeling better about it but I don't think this place is for me like I don't care how much they pay like I just exposure therapy is very hard especially when you you have to do it yourself like you have to put yourself through this it's just difficult I did not want to you know make this sad but it's just I just can't help it like sometimes I feel like I live in a world where people are too not human I get blamed for feeling all the time and it's like aren't we supposed to isn't that what we're known for are human feelings we're literally the the creatures that are aware of how they feel and yet we're cutting ourselves from it like it's just strange i've i've seen so many like videos where like girls would mainly girls but there was also dudes who like record themselves going through heartbreak like the the stages and i'm like oh i'm glad they showed it and i look in the comments and people are like imagine showing yourself crying imagine like how embarrassing it's like why why is it embarrassing it's normal you know what's embarrassing? Showing people, showing others, bullying others, and laughing at that. And yet, that's very, like, that used to be a big thing. Like, I hated when people watched videos of, like, um, jumping someone. And that was, like, okay. That was more acceptable. I don't know. I'm just getting into something else. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to talk to you guys while I did. Because one of you mentioned you wanted to know how I did my makeup. So, I'm sorry I made it so serious. But, <laughs> That's just, I wanted to talk about work and how stressed out I am. But yeah, that's what I do my makeup. And it pretty much stayed, as you can see, and I teared up. But I did not put mascara because, like, I just don't really care. Obviously, I, I'm honestly not going to be wearing any makeup to work because there's no point. But if you ever need to, you know, go somewhere and you're gonna tear up or go to a water park this works pretty well you can see that and it didn't it didn't smear or anything really if you put it on you know probably you're, you're gonna do a better job than i did i'm not really like i'm not really good at makeup but <sighs> at least i try right that's that's a good thing about it but yeah i'm sorry i got so serious i um i just i I hate feeling like I'm living in a world with robots because like apparently I'm the only one who's affected by hu- you know like a lot of people are like this is- it's not that big of a deal but it- I think of it and I describe it to myself I'm like but it is it's literally a human life dying like right in front of our eyes and if I would have cried out and they would have seen me and made fun of me um, it makes no sense because it's like, you're getting mad at me for crying over a lost life. I don't get it. I don't know. I don't, I find it very strange that people don't have emotions anymore. Like, it's just, emotions are part of us. I feel like we sh it should be okay. But, uh, obviously I have a little too much and I need to figure that out and I, it, it's really my anxiety. Yeah, my anxiety is just not helping and I I need my therapist back because I paused our sessions since I'm kind of broke right now. Just be careful guys because judging from those cameras, you know, the, that footage they showed us, life is so easy to just randomly go. You know, like it's just e one second you're alive and the next you're dead and you never get to go home basically. <laughs> It was it looked like final destination i hate shows or movies like that i can't um but yeah just be very careful out there and um sorry for being so serious but let me know what you guys think of my super professional um makeup tutorial where i burst out crying but um yeah uh thanks for answering my facetime call it's always i always feel so much better talking to you guys um and let me know what you guys do when you're anxious you know and what what causes it for me it was that footage of people dying that caused it and driving 
operating things that might kill somebody. So yeah, I might have to get medicated. I don't know. Bye.